Let's go here for quick maths, and the last video we looked at the gradients of two lines which are perpendicular, and we found out that if you times the gradients together, you get the answer of minus one, which allows you to find the gradient of one of the lines given the gradient of the other, or if you can work them out. We'll now look at some specific lines. The first one we're going to look at is a perpendicular bisector. What that is defined as is essentially this. If you take any line, let's call it A and B, and we draw another line at right angles, if it cuts it in half, it is called a perpendicular bisector, so it cuts it in half at right angles. That would happen in, say, an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle, for instance. And we'll look at a few practical examples of this. A is the point minus 2, 1. B is the point 4, 7. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. So step one, we're going to have to find the gradient of AB. So our gradient of AB, very easy, is 7 minus 1 over 4 minus minus 2. That's 6 over 6, which is 1. Nice and simple. So since we know that that is 1, we can automatically know the gradient of the perpendicular. So therefore, the gradient of our perpendicular line is going to be minus 1. And we always need to write the statement. Look at the previous video if you're not sure. Since m1 times m2 equals minus 1. So we now know our gradient is minus 1. That's first step. Now remember, a perpendicular bisector is a line that cuts it in half. So we need the midpoint of a and b as well. So the midpoint of a and b. Remember, we can do that by adding up the x's. So 4 minus 2 and taking the average, divide by 2, and then the y's, 7 plus 1, also divided by 2. So that's 4 minus 2, which is 2 over 2. 7 plus 1 is 8 over 2. Our midpoint is equal to 1, 4. We've got two bits of information that we need. We've got our gradient and we've got a point. If we've all got a gradient and a point, we can always find the equation of a straight line using y minus b equals mx minus a, or if you prefer, y equals mx plus c, whatever method is best for you. I always use y minus b equals mx minus a. So our point, I'll just write it nice and neatly, is 1, 4, and our gradient is equal to minus 1. There's my a and there's my b. So y minus b equals m x minus a. So we've got y minus 4 is minus 1, x minus 1. So y minus 4 is minus x plus 1, or to put it in a nicer way, y equals minus x. Take the 4 across, plus 5. There's the gradient, there's this equation of our perpendicular bisector. Okay, here's a little question from 2017 paper 2. So it's a calculator question. It was just question 1. And it's part A and B. There was a part C, but I've not got that far yet. So triangle ABC is shown in the diagram below. The coordinates of B are 3, 0. And the coordinates of C are 9, negative 2. And the broken line is the perpendicular bisector of BC. Part A, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of BC. So... We're going to need this point here, which is our midpoint, and we're going to need the gradient. Let's start off with the gradient. So 3, 0, 9, minus 2. Let's write that here so we can see it. So part A, the gradient of BC is equal to minus 2, take away 0, over 9, minus 3, minus 2, over 6, which is negative a third. So then we can immediately remember, say, that the gradient of the perpendicular equals negative reciprocal. So I take the 3 up and then put a minus in front, but it's already got a minus, so it's just 3. And we need to say since m1 times m2 equals minus 1. So we've got our gradient. We now need the midpoint. So the midpoint of BC is equal to the average of the x's, 3 plus 9 divided by 2, and the average of the y's, 0 minus 2 divided by 2. 3 plus 9 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, divided by 2 is negative 1. We've now got all the information we need to find the equation of a line. We've got a gradient, and we've got a point. So using y minus b equals mx minus a, 
colva A colva B, Y minus minus 1 is equal to 3X minus 6. Y plus 1 is 3X minus 18. Or to put it a nicer way, Y equals 3X minus 19. So that was part A of the question. Let's see what part B was asking for. So that's everything on perpendicular bisectors. It says the line AB makes an angle of 45 degrees with the positive direction of the x-axis. Find the equation of AB. Let's have a look at that then. We, should, we need to use the fact that the gradient equals the tan of the angle. Which, if you watch one of our previous videos on that, on gradient, you'll see we've done that before. So our gradient of the line is called AB equals the tan of 45 degrees. Now remember, this was a calculator paper, paper 2, so you could just use your calculator to work that out, but it is an exact value as well. Let's have a look at the tan of 45 as an exact value, just to be safe. If I draw a right angle triangle, and I want a 45 degree angle, then both of these are 45, which means it must be isosceles, so it's 1, 1. Using Pythagoras, I would get root 2. The tan of 45 even without a calculator, it's just opposite over adjacent, it's 1. So we know our gradient and we need a point. So what point are we going to use? A, B. Well, we've already got B. B is 3, 0. So our point, B equals 3, 0. We've now got two bits of information. So you can use Y minus B equals MX minus A if you want. Call that A and B. Or you can use Y equals MX plus C. So Y minus 0 equals 1 x minus 3, so y equals x minus 3 is the equation of our straight line. This has been Clare Maths today, we've been looking at perpendicular bisectors for the higher maths course in Scotland. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.